My name is Brenton Gomez. Um, I have a couple other aliases. Uh, one is Connie Franco. It's my solo project. I'm a, in a, uh, an MC or a rapper. <clears throat> I, um, I make music under the group Mean Street, which is me and then my partner, Honey Gauntlet. He's the producer. And then, yeah, I create the, the wording for everything. Um, but yeah, like I like to invest a lot of my time in uh, playing with words and uh, that's from, you know, rhyming or writing poetry or just uh, just about anything that has to do with language is really uh, what I'm interested in. And then um, I also spend a lot of my time kind of advocating for uh, different skate spaces and um, with the organization I work for or we're starting right now called Nebraska Public Skate Park Council. And so I kind of have my hands in a few different things, but yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things I, I value in Omaha's, you know, creative community. You know, I was, you know, blessed as a young, a young, uh, I don't know, teenager and to experience like the DIY scene here and to be, you know, thrown into a world of nonstop creativity and then also a place where creatives were housed and promoted and respected and, you know, having spaces for those individuals and seeing the kind of like accommodations that they would give each other and give myself. And then, you know, obviously like I do the, you know, follow suit and that's what I really, discovered about this city at a young age is just like we have like a lot going on and I think it kind of goes into um you know about being from Omaha and even go to other places where there's like a whole other world in the music and art scene here that has been existing for a long time you just have to tap into it you know and I go to other states cities countries I'm like yeah I'm from Omaha Nebraska where's that at blah 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 and I'm like yo it's it's in the center of the country <laughs> and um yeah i take pride in it and yeah i think it's because a lot of voices leave to champion other states and cities when you should be championing your own hopefully the money we get it's you know the money we get no matter if it's from a job or a grant it's it's going to be going to be benefiting people outside of us you know outside ourselves it's like uh anywhere from you know, like three, four, or five to a whole community of people. And that's kind of how it always is and how it's always been. And I think most people share that. And so like when you're doing things, you normally people are expecting to get paid for them or <laughs> wondering what energy they want to put into things uh, based on the capital reward. And so if you already have some capital, you know, that you've made, then you can put it's easier for people to be like, oh, I have more time to give to your community or your family or whatever, because you have that, you know, that kind of cushion. And it's, it's unique, you know, it's, it allows, allows people to be, I think, more uh, selfless to a certain extent. Having this independent class of artist thinkers is, um, it's a way to promote the, the breakdown in, you know, certain social constructs and certain art constructs and allows us to push limits and create new spaces that we never thought would exist. And um, yeah, it, it, it provides a lot more, hopefully opportunity for growth because us being in Omaha, Nebraska, we need to not look to the east or look to the west all the time when I don't think that we always do but I think that we have it all here and if we you know have the opportunities and we continue to push what we're doing independently and like promote that kind of you know um, culture independent you know artists it's there's there's a a beautiful future to be had here and I see it already in a lot of spaces and I'm excited to see what it what it becomes.
for the years to come. And I'm trying to do my part in that as well. I know a lot of my peers and friends are also doing the same in any capacity they can. So 